I'll show you how to do a video. So let's do square root of 7 or square root of 3. Okay, uh, when given the square root of 7 over the square root of 3, there's a main important property that we need to understand. And that is the square root of a over b is equal to the square root of a divided by the square root of b. Now, let's go and see why this is true. Let's pick some numbers that actually work um, that we can find the square root of. Let's do the square root of, let's see, um, how, let's do uh, 16 to 4. Okay, so the square root of 16 over 4. Square root of 16, and we obviously know is, or sorry, so we can rewrite this as the square root of 16 over the square root of 4. Well, the square root of 16 is 4, and the square root of 4 is obviously 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Or you could do it this way. 16 divided by 4 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So either way, you're going to get the same answer. However, when you have a problem that you can't divide it inside the function, we can separate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this as the square root of 7 over the square root of 3. And what that reminds me to do now is now that I know that I have the square root on the bottom, remember you cannot divide by the square root a number on the bottom. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to rationalize the denominator. So I'm going to have to multiply this by the square root of 3. All right. And the reason why we do this is one thing, the reason why you can't divide by a radical on the bottom is because this is a rational number. All right. The square root of 3 is an irrational number, so it goes on forever, meaning we can't divide a number that goes on forever into a, uh, a rational number. So if I multiply by the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, what I'll get is um, this can be multiplied in 2. So I can get square root of 7 times 3, I can combine to the square root of 21 over the square root of 9. Well, we know the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 21, I looked and I simplified this at all, and I can't. So my final answer is square root of 21 over 3. So that is how you simplify that answer.